What's going on guys? It's x -Trady. I hope you're having a wonderful day. Now we're here today so we can farm duality on Master without having to go through the whole first encounter. Alright? So we can get that sweet artifice gear. We can get the Epicurean. The, uh, what's this thing called? <laughs> the Lingering Jed. As well as the, uh, the gauntlets. The helmet and the legs. Not to mention all the enhancement prisms you get for every single run. The ascendant shards you get every now and then. And exotics, man. This thing actually drops exotics quite frequently on Master. You just, like, wouldn't pay attention to it. I went to my postmaster. I'm like, yo, why do I have six exotics? Everything comes from here. Now, if you see my previous video, I posted, I believe, a day ago or maybe two. It shows you how, you know, I kind of went through the process of how we can actually farm this. You can do it solo like I am. I got this other PC right beside me, so I'm just loading in myself. I'm, uh, I have the checkpoint on one character, so I just join that character. I promote myself lead, and then I remove myself from the fire team. That way I still have that character, and I can just rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat, rinse and repeat. You can do the same thing for uh, your friends that might want to join. Somebody just swap to a different character, keep that checkpoint on that character, and let them join up on you. That way, once they join up on you, you can leave with that character that has the checkpoint. And then they join. Um, yeah, leave with that character that has the checkpoint. Go back with whatever character you want their artifice armor on and complete it, and then just rinse and repeat. I hope I didn't confuse you yet again, because <laughs> I know it might be a little confusion right there. And um, hopefully I explained it good enough. But um, yeah, man, literally you can farm like everything. I mean, legendary shards, honestly, because you get legendary drops from everything. You get legendary drops from every completion. You get legendary drops sometimes from the enemies. Like, man, it, it's it's ridiculous. It's really ridiculous. Make sure, though, you equip your ghost mods. So if you're farming for like resilience, whatever, your build discipline strength anything anything for your build make sure you have that equipped on your ghost mod that way when you get this artifice armor it'll actually come with those rolls as well so we're gonna uh keep going i'm actually i'm, I'm trying to go for an ascendant shard all right i want to keep going until i at least get an ascendant shard here they tried to take me out <laughs> i don't appreciate that it's gonna take me out while i'm doing a video huh but since it's on master difficulty, we really want to take out all the enemies because we don't want to have to wipe and have to redo this process because that's just wasting time, you know? So I take out the snipers every time. I look to the left and right room, see if there's any um, scions inside of there. You want to take out the scions, and then I clear out the enemies that come rush you. Oh, there we go. And send the shard, baby. And send the shard. Uh, uh, uh. Okay, I'm sorry. But yeah, man, that's, that's literally it, guys. Um, Yeah. <laughs> I hope you guys really appreciate the video. Um, I hope I actually helped you out. As well as let me know down below what you're farming for. And man, that's that's pretty much all I can say. I'm going to put up a little picture right here so you guys can see. Like I'm actually maxed out in enhancement prisms and stuff like that. But yeah, so. Hey guys, y'all take care, man. And have a nice day. Peace, Guardians.